Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be comparing a few different axes to show you the difference between uh, this Fisker and some of the other ones you see over here. Um, and if you stay tuned till the end, I will show you a really cool trick that I've been doing to chop really big, you know, stumps very easily. So let's get to it and uh, put some stumps here and show you a comparison how well this works and this is just pretty much like a, I mean, I'm not even sure. This looks like a fireman's ax. I can't remember where I got it, but I really do like the, the, how thin it is and how heavy it is. So it does work really well. Um, and we're just, you know, gonna show you a comparison between them. But technically I really wanted to talk about this and how awesome it is. This has a very long handle, a 36 inch handle. So you can really swing it very fast. You know, the longer it is, the faster the end actually swings. And um, yeah, it's a really nice hammer. Let me just show you how it looks. Yeah, I like it. Now I, I did sharpen it myself, so this is not original now. So maybe I made it worse. Maybe I made it better. Most likely it's just worse. So, but it still does a really good job. So let's get to it and I'll show you. All right, here we have a piece of oak or maple or something. This is, it is a harder uh, type of a wood. I can't remember what it is, um, but it burns very well. Now this is seasoned. Uh, so it was uh, laying here for about a year, even though this one doesn't have any cracks in it. So actually, here's a go. Here's a, a check. And uh, so, yeah, keep that in mind. This is a little easier to chop than some of the other wood. Let's give it a try. Now, I am going to be hitting it in the check. So let's see how easy it is. I'm not going to be swinging the hardest as I can. And uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, that was not a hard hit, guys. And it literally pretty much split the wood. Now, I'm gonna turn it this way. And I'm gonna, even though it's not with the check line, I'm gonna show you what it can do. All right, guys, that was one swing. Um, you know, I pretty hit it pretty hard, but I know I can hit it harder. But this one makes it so easy, guys. Look how easy this uh, axe makes it look chopping wood. Look at this. Simple, simple, simple. I'm not even hitting it guys harder. That's why I like this ax. But keep in mind, this is wood that is seasoned. I'm gonna be showing you in a second some of the wood that we just cut at the end of the season, uh, at the end of last season, and it's not dry yet. And it's like one of those shit trees that grows really fast, forget what it's called too. So, oh, I hit it right here. Guys, one-handed, okay? Easy. I don't know, it's just a design or something, who knows? All right, let's compare it to uh, this fireman's axe. Actually, no. You know what, we're gonna compare it to this shit axe. This is from Harbor Freight. Uh, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. It's not, it's not really that sharp. It's not dull, but it's not really that sharp. But let's see how this does. Here's a similar piece with a check right here. Let's see how hard it is to chop it with this shit axe. And that's not the brand. <laughs> All right. That was not too hard. Now let me give it the hardest I can, just like I did with the other one. All right, well, you can see big difference. I'm gonna keep on turning it. I'm gonna keep on hitting it harder and harder. Almost. Now let me take the Fisker and see if I can break that apart. Let's see if we can get as close to scientific as possible. Okay. I'm gonna hit it right here. All right, guys. I think I hit it right down the middle. <laughs> so that's really not accurate. Let's continue with the shit axe should make it a lot easier now that was a light hit surprised it didn't break it here's a better hit worked pretty good feels weird in the hand the handle feels really thin i mean not bad for 20 bucks All right, 
before we get to that wood that's not seasoned, let's give this uh, fireman's axe a try. Let's find another piece of wood that looks similar. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna go get across the check because this check is pretty big and I don't wanna make this axe seem better than it is. And this one is a little heavier, so let's see how this does. Wow. I mean, it does cut really well. Gosh, this is a really nice axe. It's really heavy. All right, let's give it one more harder one. This has a second knot in here. Let's see if this baby can do it. Wow. Not bad, guys. I gotta say, I really do like this axe. Um, didn't use it much. Took it out today to show a comparison and I really like it. I don't know the brand of it. I'm gonna try to find out. If I can't find it, I'll try to find something similar and I'll leave a link down below guys if you guys are interested um, with this one and the Fisker. So let's get down to the wood that is not seasoned. Here goes the Fisker. I'm pronouncing it correctly against this uh, shitwood. I think it should do pretty good. A little harder. Give it one more try. All right, guys. We're gonna try the Fisker against this very big piece of wood. I'm gonna be going with it the harder way, the longer way. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a very nice, easy way of chopping this, uh, chopping really big pieces of wood. So, Fisker. Well, it went in really nice because it is not seasoned. Instead of it being dry and splitting apart, it just kind of compresses. So let's see how many times it'll take. All right, I'm gonna give it a try with the fireman, even though we already started. Ooh, ooh, I gotta like it. I think that was a uh, cheating though. Let's go sideways, right here. Wow, so for wood that's not seasoned, because this is so thin, I think this is where this one shines. Let's go take it right here. And it has this nice little hook where you can pull your material right where you want it. Now, let me show you 
a really nice, easy way to split really big pieces of wood. Here we have the big piece of wood, big piece of a uh, big stump. And uh, now you can have a bigger one. This will work on a lot bigger, but you take something like this, a nice crap ax that I don't care about destroying. And if I miss, I don't really care about uh, uh, using this. Now they do sell those little splitters that you can kind of start and try to split the wood, but they come in cone shapes or the, you know, four sided cone shapes and trying to start that, you put it in, you try to, you know, uh, start it. This works very well because it's really skinny and you get to try to chop the wood first, slam it in there, and then just keep on slamming it with the big ax on top. So let me show you how that works. All right, now that didn't do much, but now I started it. You take your big sledgehammer and hopefully you don't miss. See guys, that was nice. Let me just do a quick another demonstration. Actually, I kind of chopped that, but whatever. Didn't go all the way through. You take your big sledgehammer. That's it. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, the axe guys, very nice axe made by Fisker, Fisker's Fisker 36 inch handle, which I really love. All right guys, have a good one. See you later.